starting another devlog with yet another I just woke up and I'm having a coffee. Um, good morning. Uh, today I wanted to update you on what's happened. So literally this morning just uploaded um, my latest devlog and I already have like enough changes I think to make a video. So maybe I'll just do like the first part now and then um, a bit later I'll, I'll do like another little update. But um, I streamed yesterday, if you didn't know, I stream on Twitch. I stream every Friday at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time and mostly also Wednesday 10 a.m. So, um, I'd like to be more consistent, but I definitely do the Friday. So um, come by if you want to play some games or something. But yesterday I did a different kind of stream because I wasn't really feeling like playing games. And instead I was like, what if I just did some game design stuff? You know, I got some feedback from the tabletop event, you know, um, it'd be good to like workshop some of those changes and, and see what I can do. And an idea that I got stuck on while streaming was um, how to make the grid more compact. And uh, that's been a common theme um, that we found that the grid is just too big. And what I have been using is folded paper and blue tacking them um, to the table to be our grid. So I just realized I got makeup under my eyes still a little bit. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and, and the ribbon grid was one of the solutions to that and it's just so ugly. So I don't, and like it's even unraveling, the double-sided tape just doesn't work as well as I anticipated. So uh, I really hate the look of it. I really don't like it. Um, anyway, so I am working on solutions. And one of the solutions that I came up on stream with was the idea of something that slid out. Um, and I will post the graphic, which sides you go future release, please place graphic here. Um, and now I got to find it so I can talk about it. Um, yeah, I, I came up with a couple ideas. One of the ideas was this idea of having like, um, the two opposite sides could actually slide out with rope in the middle um, and kind of doing the calculations on that, it didn't fit. Um, the volume wouldn't fit if we did it that way. And I think some other ideas were this idea of like a clipping on um, sides approach and all the, if all the sides were clip on um, and made of like a 3D printed plastic, then calculating the volume again, it just doesn't work, unfortunately. So I came up with, or well, I basically decided that it needed to be a slide out solution of some kind where an entire side needs to compact down into, into the size of this. And we need to be able to fit four sides in this. And then for the lines in between um, of the grid, we would have to do something very small. And it doesn't have to be sturdy because the sides would be the sturdy part. Um, so something like string or thread, um, and I'm still kind of figuring that out. But what I do know is that I do want sturdy sides. I think the sides should feel solid. So knowing that came up with a sliding out solution picture here. Um, the first idea was maybe it was like a little tray thing that just like kind of slid out and got bigger. Um, and then the other one, you know, calculating the volume of that we actually don't need the sides. We can actually make it smaller and then thinking hey, what's the smallest. And we got it down to, it can be one millimeter thick. And so, um, as soon as that stream ended and I was very satisfied that we came up with a solution and doing the maths, the volume actually fits with space to spare for the rocks and the star fruit. Um, I, I was, very happy that we came up with that. So uh, yeah, I got to work designing after that. Um, I, I opened Blender, did some 3D modeling, fired up the 3D printer and immediately made these. These are fresh off the printer actually. Um, so as you can see picture, this is what they're supposed to look like. And they look literally exactly like that. Um, please focus, please focus. They have a little hole. This is fresh off the 3D printer. I haven't done anything with it. And they are very thin. 
So I've got lots of these. I've got a handful of these. They are, um, yeah, fresh off the 3D printer or you're printing another batch. They take about eight minutes to print eight of them. So one per minute. Um, so nice and quick. And what I've done with them, because this is the second batch. Um, and yeah, what I've done with them is they clip together naturally they clip together and I added jump rings to the ends focus so they all have a little jump ring and they all snap together and I can also slide them out from each other and eventually create one big long grid And so what you end up with is these nice long structures that are pretty sturdy and lightweight and they will be able to hold pieces of thread between them. And eventually if we have two sides, so um, these just like clip in and out currently, but um, I'll make like a more sturdy solution that makes us like the slide nice and um, rigid. But so, you know, like I can put them all together in a line. There'll be eight of these. There's one per tile on the grid. And then they'll be able to like go across from each other. And because there's jump rings in the middle, they'll put, th put thread between them. And so we'll be able to layer two of these. So imagine this one's one with thread in the middle. And then we put the other one like this with thread in the middle. And suddenly we have an eight by eight grid and it's compact. We can fit four of these um, sets of eight very, very easily, according to my calculations, um, very, very easily inside this, uh, this grub. So just throwing all the little pieces everywhere. Let me stack this back up um, because I've put the jump rings. It doesn't slide as easily now, which is why I need to re I just poured rocks all over myself. Um, I, I need to rethink the design of the jump rings a little bit, but it was kind of exciting, like being able to make this on stream and then literally like have it in my hands by the afternoon. Okay, here we go. That's what it looks like all stacked up and it fits so nicely with space to spare. Like, there's so much room in there for other things. Focus. Yeah. Like we'd be able to fit so many of these and ha be able to fit like the rocks and stuff underneath. I'm just really happy with how they turned out. Um, and then of course the big grub goes on top and we have a keychain game. So um, my plan for the rest of the day is to, well, I have obviously, other things planned today as well. But what I would like to do with this game particularly is just take the um, 3D printed pieces, put the jump rings in them, take the other ones and make sure we can get it all snapped together in one big grid and make sure it's really easy just to slide out and play. Um, and that's gonna take some like prototyping iteration. Um, but the first iteration should just be two sides, slide out, slide out. To other two sides, slide out, slide out layer on top of each other, boom, you got a grid. Step after that, make them easier to slide out, make it like it slides back in really easily, slides out really easily. And then the step after that is to make it snap nicely at the corners and make it really easy to undo, pack back down and put in a keychain because ultimately the keychain is about convenience. You can play anywhere, you can just pick up, open it up, play. Um, and none of this nonsense around blue tacking a grid to the table in four separate sections made of paper. Um, and none of this business of here's your pieces, play Lego and snap a tiny grid together before you're allowed to play. Cause that's not going to work either. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's my current update. I will probably do this um, in two parts um, on my side, not your side. You'll see this as one video, but um, I will do an update this afternoon on the update of this. See you in the next section. I'm back. There's been an update. Um, I've modified the rules for Grub, grub Shop. Um, 
I have a new rule I'm going to test out that I think would work because I've been thinking about the feedback that I got from the testing night and one of them was that the players need the ability to, or they, the players wanted the ability to rotate, which I think is overpowered, so we need a way to limit that, and that there should be an extra mechanic. Um, I am hesitant to add in an extra, like, piece. I think that, like, the rocks are, it's nice that there's, like, you know, the rocks in the game, but I've been thinking, what if the rocks had multiple uses? So currently the rocks have the use of, you can um, you can place it to, to block um, your opponent from being able to like roll over it. Um, that's one use. And the other use is like, you can actually like spend a turn, waste a turn almost, um, to make your opponent go before you by just placing it somewhere random. I'm gonna introduce a third way to use the rock. I'm gonna say, and I've yet to test this, <laughs> But the current hypothesis is that this will work. Um, but I'm going to say that if you place a rock, like if you discard a rock, I'm going to say, but I want the rock to go back into the pool of you can get this rock again. So I'm still wondering how to do that. So I'm thinking if you place a rock in a corner of, a, of the grid, you can flip your grub 180 degrees on any axis except when it's lying down I don't want it to like take new um territory that it hasn't had before so if it's like lying on um now let me just draw a diagram I think that's easier there's my texture you'd think I'd have my textures organized like this here's a texture I just don't want to use Posca pens because they'll take a while to dry. I'm drawing a grid. Um, okay, this is my grid. If the grub is lying like this and taking up these two, and I say you may flip it 180 degrees, um, then theoretically the flip... Flipping 180 this way does nothing, so I don't want people to waste their turn unless they really want to place a rock in the corner. In that case, it's just placing a rock. But you'll be able to save the opening of the mouth is this way. You would be able to switch it to this direction, which is great. Um, I don't want people to be able to like rotate it and take up new ter territory. That's not going to happen um, because I did say 180 degrees. Um, and if it's standing up like this and you discard a rock to be placed in a corner, you can rotate it this way. Which would allow people to maneuver themselves a little bit easier into the position they want. I think it would be a bit more competitive and you're discarding an important resource in order to do so. So there would be that kind of trade off. Um, but that's the rule we're going to work with. And my friends are coming over tonight to play board games. So I'm going to play test with them and see how they like that new rule. And, uh, We'll give it a go. Okay, I've made progress. Um, the more I do this, the more I realize this is probably too fiddly to be mass produced um, easily and cheaply. Um, but this is what I have. It's compact. It's got this grid that slides out and the string in between. And this would ideally roll up and fit in the grub. Um, and there'd be two of these. So, Let's see it extended. Oh, I see my dilemma. The way that I fed the string, after all that, the way that I fed the string through, it actually like continues to go through the rest. So this isn't gonna actually work. Um, yeah, that's so annoying. And it's already like kind of messy and falling apart. I've got other solutions I've thought of in the middle, like a, an external grid that kind of like holds the grubs. Um, I'm going to explore that after I solve this solution because it would be nice if it worked. But at the moment, um, I'm seeming a little bit more doubtful about this grid. Let me fix this and come back. All right, I'm back. It took me ages to detangle it, and I even broke a couple in the process. But this is all a learning process. All right, so I've extended one side. It looks like this. 
So, um, theoretically, if I was to shrink these, it would go back to where you saw it before. And um, if you have two of these, one line this way and one line this way, it should make a grid. Um, I think the next thing for me to test is, well, fix them back up, make like um, all of one side. Um, or maybe I will make two sides and see how it looks. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, let's see how like it packs up. I mean, it slides pretty easily, um, especially now there's no string in between. So that's one side packed up. The other side just slides together. Oh, I snapped one. Still need a, an efficient rail system of some kind. Um, but yeah, there's the two. And then I think I would roll them up. Let's see how that looks. Um, so now I have this little bundle and that is, well, it will be half, it's technically a quarter now because it's only four each side. And then this can sit in here. With the string, it definitely is a bit bulkier. You can fit two. So something I'm thinking about, because I, I don't think this is as sturdy as I'd like to make it. And maybe I won't even make the other half of this because I think I already know a better way of doing it. Um, so the reason that um, things are even harder to fit in here is because I'm attempting to store these like little tokens as well in here, the, um, the rocks and the star fruit. And it would be easier if I didn't have to store them inside the grub. So what if as part of the keychain, like a decorative part of this keychain, was that these actually stacked on top of each other um, with like a like a wire that went through the middle, and then these sat like on top of the grub as like decoration. Um, and then they lived outside the keychain. I think that could work really well. Um, and yeah, I think that's the next thing to try. So um, yeah, there's the grid on the outside and then there's the uh, pieces on the outside for me to try next. And I don't know if I'm gonna fire up the oven today and do the polymer clay today for this, but um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Maybe I'll find some proxies and, and practice with that. But if, if I know that I don't have to use the, the precious remaining space in here for polymer clay rocks and star fruit maybe i can utilize all four square centimeters or so um actually it's eight square centimeters um to make a stronger grid that can uh live in here so time to get uh prototyping again i think all right i've done some sketching and planning and let me show you my ideas. I've moved the camera so I can display them all here. It'd be very exciting. Okay, number one, storing the pieces externally to save space on the inside for a grid. Um, as mentioned before, I think, but that might look like this. Next idea I have is having the grid stored externally in some kind of frame, um, which I started trying to do like this and then I realized it looked better like this and I could put a little bow on top and it would look very cute and then I thought okay how would that work and I did some brainstorming and this was my solution which would be super cool if it didn't look like a swash sticker like most of the time so um I don't want uh my game kind of like having Nazi connotations so I had to rework how do all the tiles slide together to make this grid if it's going to live externally to the grub then I came up with this idea where we have them all in a line and they kind of fold on a little hinge and on, on the main section and then the um, out of the, the spine um, we have pieces that slide out and then I was trying to draw well okay how would that actually look if I was to engineer that and it didn't look nice it would have slanted um, because of gravity of the grid um, and it would have made the tiles look uneven, which is not what I want to make my grid look like. So I went back to the drawing board and I thought, well, what if there's four sides on 
um, outside of the, the grub that this grid could live on if it was to live externally. So what if I made just four sections? Um, they're all four by fours and then you just slide them together when you're done on the, or when you are ready to play on the table. And then I thought, well, how do I build that? Um, and I came across this, this idea of um, more hinges and I think this will lie nice and flat. And I think this is the idea I'm gonna go with for now. And I, and I have kind of had to think about how this might like lie together and, and um, I could engineer the hinges. Now I'm not, I've never really worked with 3D prints and hinges before. So um, I'd have to do some exploring and think, how do I make this work? But I feel, I feel good about it. I think um, that I can, make this work better and that way I can actually make the grubs really tiny because I'd no longer need to fit a grid inside I just need to fit the rocks and the star fruit inside and well if the grubs are smaller the grid becomes smaller and I can really make this any size I want and suddenly the size of this grub doesn't become an issue so that is something I'm considering Okay, it's the next day and I've woken up and I feel like I solved all my problems in my sleep. I don't know why I didn't even see it before. I don't know why I'm trying to over-engineer this ridiculous grid outside thing. The 3D printer is more than occupied with like 10 other things I'm making at once anyway. My original problem with this thing was that if I had a fabric grid, my original beautiful canvas grid, which I've since thrown out, unfortunately, the issue was that it was, that it fit. However, the extra pieces like the rock and the star fruit didn't also fit and it was clunky. However, well, now that I'm thinking about it, even this, I just, because I threw, it, threw out the canvas grid, I just picked up some other fabric in my cupboard and actually it's, it's a lot smaller. I can probably actually fit it all in. Wait, should I just solve all my issues with different fabric? Did I waste all this time for nothing? Okay, I'm like kind of, um, my brain's all over the place. Um, my meds are still kicking in. Um, okay, well, what I was going to say was that my solution of... Um, stacking the the rocks and the star fruit on top of the grub would solve my issue of the grub is only able to fit the grid in fabric form rolled up um however what has since changed is i've just realized that using this kind of fabric which i found actually everything fits including star fruit and grub all this time I was just using the wrong fabric. That's such a shitty realization. I just put so much work into designing this beautiful grid thing with the bow and... Oh, oh hey, I'm glad I solved my issue. Okay, well, my next steps for today, I guess, if I'm gonna do this, let me just finish this damn game. Um, I've got design notes as well that I'll go through in a sec, but in terms of physically designing the game, um, the edges are fraying because it's um, it's just cotton and it's 100% cotton. You can see my cutting job wasn't incredible. Um, so my job this morning is, well, maybe not this morning because I've got a stream in less than an hour. Um, I'm going to seal the edges, uh, stop it from fraying. Um, I think that just looks like covering it in Mod Podge. Um, and then I'm going to get my Cricut machine fired up and I'll create an iron on design for a grid that lies nice and flat. Um, and then decorate it maybe with some paints. That'd be cute. Um, and then I was going to remodel these like with, um, clay. I think I can actually get away with just buying a hand drill. I've always wanted a hand drill. Um, so maybe I'll buy myself a hand drill and just drill through these. Um, but if this fits and the, and these, and the little, um, tokens also fit inside the grub, I don't even need to do that. I think I bet it might be cute to do that for the star fruit anyway, because it would be like a cute little decorative piece if it became like a little hat or something. I guess it's not a hat, it's sitting on his ass, but like, I think that would be a cute part of the keychain. So I'm, I'm, I'll debate how it gonna look it's now just like a little aesthetic fixes um okay so in terms of 
Oh, so that's exciting that I have a solution now. That was actually my old solution. Anyway, um, so yes, I tested my game um, with friends last night who came over for board games and of course I, I held the actual game we we're going to play Ransom and I said, no, um, you can't play this until you play test my Grub Cup game for me. Um, and Grub Cup's still a working title and I'm not sure if I like it, so still thinking of solutions for that. But anyway, um, yes, I had friends over, I made them play with a new rule set and the new rule set is if you play a uh, on your turn, you may, um, if you play a rock in a corner of the map, so there's four corners, if there's something occupied in that corner, obviously you can't place anything there, but um, you can rotate your grub 180 degrees. So it allowed for a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more strategy, a bit easy to move around. I think the general consensus is um, it improves it a little bit. It's still not 100% fixed, but I think the, the new rules do improve it. So I am happy that I am making progress. And the other thing uh, my friends kept saying, where's the pirate game? Because <laughs> it's apparently more fun to play. So um, at some point I'd like to flesh out that game a bit more. Um, I also made a really fun prototype last night, very unrelated to the devlog, um, but just working on like single player puzzle games that are very physical with like elastic and like wrapping things around. Um, and I'm really keen to see how that turns out, but that's what's occupying my 3D printer currently. Um, but yeah, this is exciting that I have, um, not only do I have a solution for my grid and a solution for storage that allows this game to truly be a compact experience, but I also have made improvements on the game that I didn't think I could improve. So I can, I, I'm very pleased with that. And to be honest, um, I think that's where I'll end the devlog um, because I think I have a lot of footage already and all that's really gonna change is I will um, make this cute. Ah, oh, maybe, maybe I'll continue it, maybe I'll continue it. Okay, all right, the last part of this devlog is just gonna be showing off the final product because I think I've talked enough. Um, It'll be nice. It'll be nice. Okay, uh, I'll do... All right, let me go make that after the stream and then I'll probably check in later. <laughs> All right, I'm back at the end of the day for the final part of this vlog. Um, here is the final keychain. I'm really happy with it and I think it's in a state where it's complete. Um, I mean, these just came out the oven and I just painted them, so I'm going to take it apart and mod podge it. But for the purpose of finishing this video, um, yeah, it's done. So I've managed to um, stack everything on top. I made the star fruit on stream this morning and I made about 20 different types of rocks um, and had to remake them um, an hour ago because I realized they didn't fit the large elastic, but you just um, unthread them from um, the elastic. And then inside is a fabric grid which I made on my Cricut machine this morning. Um, and it will lie nice and flat when you're playing. Um, yeah, I think the outcome works really well. I'm happy that I have a final completed product and uh, yeah, thanks for watching the journey. Oh, uh, a rule change that happened um, that I forgot to mention was um, the ability to turn 360 degrees when you place something in a corner. That rule changed to be when you place a rock in a corner, you may rotate 360 degrees or you may rotate your opponent 360 degrees. Um, so it has more incentive to collect the rocks and therefore a little bit more interaction with the players, which is some feedback I got um, from other playtesters. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> very rushed last note on, on the game. Um, yes, it's been a very long devlog. Thanks for tuning in. If you made it all the way through, I really appreciate that. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to this channel. Um, I like making videos and discovering that I really like making vlogs as well. So yeah, come uh, join and see more content like that. I'm definitely going to end the video now. Okay, I I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs>